everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how to build video where I show you to build cool stuff inside of Minecraft. And in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to build a very simple, simple elevator. And I actually saw this video on Skippy6 Gaming's channel. Someone on my Twitter sent me a message because if you guys know, I've been complaining a little bit about elevators recently. And this still isn't the best elevator in my opinion, but since elevators haven't been working for about eight months, six, seven, eight months now on Minecraft, this is the best we're going to get for now. Uh, my favorite ones are two by two elevators, which I want to do for my redstone houses. But I really want to start doing redstone house builds for you guys. So I might be using this elevator in the future for one of those builds. So this thing is super easy to build, guys. Uh, I did change it up a little bit from his design. I wanted to make it a one wide elevator. So all I have to do is just stand right here, click this button, and we will start going up. So it's just a slime block piston elevator. If you do add too many uh, slime blocks and or blocks to it, it will not work. Because, you know, this is the best you're going to get. This is the absolute best we are going to get for right now. And then to go down, all you have to do is just click this button. And it will go back down now a major flaw with this as you can see if you do click it and fall off of it <laughs> you'll never get it back uh i guess at the end i could we could easily hook up a down function for this so you know in case it goes up there and we're not on it like say like you know it goes up like this and we're not on it and then we can never get it back so you know i could e i could probably easily hook up uh a down function you don't really need a uh, up function for when you're up there because you can just throw a slime block down here and just jump off the top of it if you really want to but you can see if i do add in any more blocks to this thing it will make it go invisible which it, it, it like i said this is the best we're gonna get guys this is the absolute best we're probably gonna get for just a little bit until everything gets fixed but you see if i add just you know a few more blocks like this so if i want a two by two elevator boom it will make it invisible yeah that that's what happens and it's actually going to break it too now that i added those blocks in so let's start it on building this thing guys as you can see very very easy build nothing to it and then i can also try to hook up a down function for us as well all right guys so to get started off on this build we're going to start off by digging down two blocks one two one two and then place in two slime blocks right here and right here and that's going to be the base of pretty much what we're going to be doing for this entire thing so now what we're going to do is dig around all these slime blocks I'm going to go right underneath it and add in a few more blocks below it. So go all the way around it because uh, if slime blocks are attached to anything, they will not move. So you have to make sure you take out any blocks around from them unless they are some sort of immovable object such as obsidian, no blocks, and new blocks such as shulkers as well. I don't know if you want to waste shulker boxes on it, but if you're doing it creative, then you know, go right ahead. Then next up, right on the right hand side of our slime block, we're going to place a sticky piston facing upwards. And then right below it on this side, we're going to dig down a little bit more and we're going to add another sticky piston facing downwards right here. So place one facing downwards like this. Next up, take out your slime blocks once again and place in two more slime blocks right here. And yet again, dig around it. We have to make sure no blocks are touching them. Make sure no blocks are touching those slime blocks. And then right below the one on the right hand side, we're going to place an observer block facing upwards like that. And as you can see, it already activated. And then on this side right here, we're going to go ahead and place another block and place another observer block facing downwards. But actually, before we do that, I almost forgot this thing probably will go up into the air. We don't want that to happen. Place one immovable object right on top of it and then go ahead and just place in your observer block. So just in case. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we don't want it to go flying off into the sky or else, you know, it'll go forever. It'll just go up and up and up until I guess the world stops it. I don't know if the world will stop it, though, which is the problem. So pretty much that's it guys we have everything in place so once we uh send power to well this once we remove this block from underneath it so you know what? let's go ahead and place our a movable object right above it so once you remove this block right here it will activate it so just make sure you do that then right next to the observer block on the bottom we're going to place in one obsidian block like that so now it's flush to the floor as you see we completely flush to the floor so we can make sure that the whole up function is working so let's go a few blocks up make sure it's like an obsidian block just to stop it just in case we don't want it to fly off into nowheresville so all we have to do is just activate this observer block so if i you know just place redstone right there it'll activate it as you can see it's going up absolutely fine perfect everything worked out great and then of course if we send pat well just and then all we have to do is update this observer block and it will go back down so now this is pretty much up to you how high you want to make this thing go uh so i mean you know let's go a few more blocks up i'm gonna go a few more blocks up like right here is perfect i'm gonna go this high right here it depends on how high you want to go you can make it go as high or as low as you want it, <laughs> it doesn't take up any room guys this thing takes up absolutely no room so let's go ahead and uh activate this once again boot and we're gonna make it go back up top and then we're gonna go ahead and add in a few more things up here so we can uh, set up the whole entire down function for this thing as well so now it's time to get started on our down function so we're gonna be placing a button right above this observer block right here when we do place the button since it is an update block it will just update it and it'll start going back down so if you don't want it to go back down you can place an uh, obsidian block right below it right here 
But if you really don't care, you can just place your button in and it'll go back down. But I'm going to go ahead and just keep my obsidian block there and then go ahead and remove it so it doesn't update it and make it go back down. So now we can get rid of this obsidian block right here. It's no longer needed. Next up, what we're going to do is come over here to this side and place an obsidian block right here. Place a piece of redstone next to that block with the button. And then we're going to take out a piston and place a piston facing inwards towards your build. And that's it. That's the entire thing. So now when we click the button, it'll go back down. There it goes. And then once it hits the floor, we can hit that button over there and activate it and make it go back up. So doop, there it goes. And then we hit the button. It will go back up. And then it will stop once it gets to this piston because the piston can be moved. So the slime block will get attached to the piston and the obsidian block will keep it from going up any higher. See, it completely stopped thanks to that piston right there. And then, of course, you know, click it again and it'll go back down absolutely fine. So, like I said at the beginning, uh, we can easily set up a down, well, a down function in case we're down here. Just in case someone sets it off, leaves it. I don't know who's in your world. They might do something like that to you. I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to actually go ahead and set up our button first for right here. So, what I like to do is place it right in the corner like that. Then we're going to take out a sticky piston. Place a sticky piston facing downwards from that obsidian block with an observer block coming off of it. Then we're going to come down two blocks. One, two. Place a block right here with some redstone down there. And there you guys have it. So now when we click this button, boop, it'll activate that redstone, thus making our lift go off. So now, like I said, we can try to, well, not try, but so now if you have complete faith in your friends or yourself that you won't make it go up there and then forget about it and never get it back, then you're done. You know, all you have to do, you know, just fill this around this lip with obsidian or any other immovable objects. I like using shulker boxes a lot, but that's just in case you're not on survival. If you're on survival, then obviously just use obsidian and or furnaces. Uh, I highly recommend using furnaces. Of course, on pocket edition, furnaces will not work out. And then, of course, if you want to, you know, you can fill in this with it. You know, make it look nice in here if you really want to. It's completely up to you. But now what we're going to do is just hook it up so this can come back down just in case we lose it. All right, guys. So now we're going to get started on that down function just in case we lose it. So all we have to do is just send power to this piston right here that is facing downwards. That sticky piston that is facing downwards. So before we start anything off, if we are making a down function from the bottom, we have to add another obsidian block below this piston right here, or else it can get pulled down with the entire creation. We don't want that to happen. So like I said, all we have to do is just send power to this piston that's facing downwards towards the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and place another obsidian block here or any immovable object, really doesn't matter. Then we're gonna come over a few blocks like this and place another observer block going into that block. It probably will activate already because I think when you place it down, it automatically updates. So let's see. Yes, as you, <laughs> as you can see, it did update it, but it can't move thanks to that obsidian block right here. So now all you have to do is just send power to this piston, this observer block from below. So, you know, you could do a torch tower if you really want to. You could do a piston block tower as well. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and try out a torch. We can try out a few different ones. We're going to go ahead and do a torch tower first. Obviously, that's like the easiest thing to possibly set up is just a, a quick torch tower. Let's use a nice color. <laughs> I'm loving these uh, concrete blocks. So let's go ahead and take out a redstone torch and we can get rid of our button. We don't need it. So let's say we want to put our torch tower. Well, since it's right here, well, like I said, we need it to hook up to this piston and this observer block. So, you know, just go like that, that. And then all you have to do is just place in, you know, three pieces of redstone like that. And now all you have to do is just send power to any part of this redstone right here with a torch tower. Like I said, if you, you could be completely done already. <laughs> uh, the only way, the only reason I'm saying build this is in case you think you're going to lose the thing. If not, then that's fine. And you can also encase this thing in obsidian as well. So you can't see the whole entire back area. You know, we'll get into that later. We'll get into that later. We'll do it again. We'll All right, guys. So we're going to quickly just get started on this torch tower. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and just put a, a obsidian block right here as well. Just, just in case. Uh, I don't know if the torches will mess with it and make it fall or drop. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. And then we're going to place our torch here. And okay, it went back down. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, make sure you do that just in case, you know, you don't want it to fly off into uh, existence. So let's go ahead and just make a quick torch tower going all the way down. We have to make sure the last torch up here isn't on though. So yeah, okay, that one's on. You have to make sure this part isn't on right here. So now all we have to do is just send the power to this redstone torch from our button. Or we could even add another button if we really wanted to. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and just, uh, you know, I'm actually going to leave it on this one button because I'm going to encase this thing so we can't see the whole entire torch ladder from the backhand side. So let's go ahead and just send the power like this. We're going to go right over to our torch like that. And like I said, remember, we have to use a uh, movable object because of those slime blocks. And that should work. So let's go ahead and send it up real quick. Oh, you know, it's not working. That redstone's actually getting in the way. So let's go ahead and just add a repeater like that. And now it should work. So there it goes. It goes up. 
And now with the torch ladder, we should be able to call it back down once it reaches the top area. So let's see. Once it's up there, if we click this button again, we should be able to call it back down. And there we go. So there you guys have it. So just in case you want, in case you lost it or something like that, uh, there is a faster way than using torch ladders. You could use a piston, you know, piston ladder with blocks. Those work a little bit faster. But like I said, if you want to, you can encase this thing. So, you know, you can't see any of the redstone back there in case you only want to see the front portion of it. So, you know, like I said, use immovable objects. You can also use like shulker boxes and things like that or furnaces. But we're going to quickly go ahead and just use uh, obsidian going all the way up and all the way up and all the way up to the top 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 and like that so there you go so you know you don't have to see the back area maybe you want to stick this into a building or something like that it is completely up to you so let's go like that uh this piston though this piston this piston let's face this piston going this way like that there we go because <laughs> i want to place a block right here and if the piston's there then i can't place the block in so you know there we go so now you just have the front area of your elevator so now when we come right here we click the button go up And then, of course, once we reach the top, all we have to do is click the button up here, and we go back down. Very simple. But there you guys have it. That's how you build a very simple elevator inside of Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos, and I did remove the top area. So time to go into space. All right, guys. Peace.